Hi and welcome to Case Club. Today we'll be reviewing our AR-15 foam only for the Pelican Vault V700. It's designed to hold an AR-15, two semi-auto pistols, magazines, and accessories. This foam set is perfectly contoured to fit the Pelican Vault V700 case. When your foam arrives, you'll need to remove the foam plugs. The foam will hold one AR-15 up to 34.8 inches in length with a collapsible stock, two semi-auto pistols ranging from compact to full size, six rifle magazines, six double or single stacked pistol mags, along with three cutouts for miscellaneous accessories. The foam is pre-cut with a variety of perforations that ensure all of your gear fits regardless of accessories. Our engineers have included perforations for a variety of gear, including optics for above the rifle and accessories for below the rifle. For example, to fit a scope or underbarrel attachment on the rifle, you'll need to connect the existing foam perforations and remove these pieces. If you do not have a scope or specific accessory, the perforated foam can be left in place. The perforations do not compromise the integrity of the foam and it won't accidentally tear. The pistol cutout will accommodate a semi-auto pistol up to 8 and 5 eighths in length. For compact and subcompact pistols, use the adjustment blocks to properly fit your guns. Starting with the height adjustment blocks, trim those smaller and put them back in so that the back of the gun sits at the same height as a full size. Next, use the length adjustment blocks that were built into the larger foam plug to ensure the gun cannot shift forward or backward. You will note we have also included a variety of pre-cut block sizes so your customization should be quick and easy. Guns without attachments should be stored at an angle. Guns with underbarrel attachments should be stored horizontally. In this horizontal position, the barrel area now acts as a cutout relief for lasers and flashlights. This foam set will accommodate red dots, provided that they don't stick up too far and the gun can sit in the angled position. Like the pistol slots, each magazine slot is manufactured in a clever way to provide maximum flexibility for different sized mags. For short single stack magazines, remove the upper level rectangular piece, but leave the L spacer in place along with the lower foam. This will ensure the magazine is held snugly in place and does not sink to the bottom. For small double stack magazines, remove both the rectangular piece and the L spacer, but leave the lower level of foam in place. Again, this will ensure that the magazine does not sink too low. For longer magazines, you will need to remove the lower level foam. You will likely need a tool such as needle nose pliers to more easily remove these pieces. Again, if you have a long single stack magazine, such as a 1911 mag, leave both the lower and upper L spacers in place. For long double stack mags, remove all the foam plugs. Keep your foam in the best condition, always use the L spacers with your single stack magazines. Not using those will allow thin magazines to sit crooked, which can put extra stress on the sidewall of the foam. Be advised, this foam is an upgrade from Pluck Foam. Unlike Pluck Foam, this foam is pre-cut, ensuring a perfect fit for your gear and saving you time from having to do it yourself. Another advantage of our foam is its military spec characteristics when compared to cheaper foam. When it's closed cell, it won't absorb liquid and you can easily clean it if it gets dirty over time. Cheaper foam, on the other hand, will absorb any liquids and slowly deteriorate. Also, it provides adequate cushion for your gear, but won't tear like the cheaper foam. And the foam for the lid is a soft convoluted polyurethane, whose ridges help to secure everything in place when the case is closed. You can find this product and many more at caseclub.com, the industry-leading manufacturer of cases and custom foam. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.